Hey guys, the Geek 6000 here. So today I am visiting the Drake Tamer's house. Make sure you subscribe to him on YouTube. Uh, I broke it. Oh no. <laughs> Doesn't like being on camera a whole lot, but I think we can fix that. Duct tape. So today we're going to take a look at my MacBook Pro that I fixed after Apple said it was dead. Let's take a look. So the story with this machine is that it was my friend's MacBook Pro. He ran his entire DJ business on it. Um, the specs of this machine, it's a two, early 2011 MacBook Pro. It has a quad-core octa-thread 2.2 gigahertz i7, 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gig Samsung 840 Evo SSD, and it had the um, dedicated graphics. It had an AMD Radeon HD 6490M with 256 megabytes of video memory, which was the second to greatest option for this uh, machine. So originally this would have cost probably about $1,500. Um, and what happened was he used it for the past eight years and his screen just died. And whenever he tried to turn it back on, the Apple logo was green and there were lines all through the screen. So he gave it to me just to see what I could do with it after taking it to the Apple store and they said that it was junk. So I thought to myself there's no possible way that it could be junk because it almost tries to turn on. So I looked up online ways to get this fixed and I found out a way. So what you have to do is bypass the graphics card um, in single user recovery mode which um, if you guys are more familiar with Windows it's like a command line except um, instead of a BIOS on Macs, you can um, get into the system files using the system use, um, single user recovery mode. So you can actually edit your system files before the computer has even turned on or booted, which is really cool. So to start the procedure, I did a um, v, uh, NVRAM reset, um, which basically just erases the NVRAM and any issues that may have come up on the last uh, user. Uh, session and I took all the dedicated graphic drivers and put them in a disabled extensions file and I installed um, a program created by DOS Dude One. Um, if you guys um, haven't checked him out, make sure you do. He does great videos on Macs and how to refix them and stuff like that. But here is the results. So keep in mind. This MacBook was supposed to be dead. Apple said, without a doubt, you need a new motherboard, new logic board, guaranteed. So you may be asking, then how in the world is this thing working? And the way that this is working is it's using Intel HD graphics. So if you guys don't know, these dedicated graphic MacBook Pros actually have Intel HD graphics on them. Um, now, it's designed so that it switches between dedicated graphics and Intel HD graphics on its own. Um, but as you can see, if I go to about this Mac, and we zoom in here, it says Intel HD graphics 3000, 512 megabytes. Now, it will still recognize that AMD Radeon card, um, but obviously it won't use it because the program um, that I installed uh, it installs a launch daemon, which is basically a program embedded in the system files that prevents um, the graphics card from turning on and makes it only use the Intel HD graphics. So this is fully working, as you can see by the keyboard backlighting. This rarely works on machines that you bypass the GPU on, and this works 100%. It even, um, the, even the adaptive backlighting works it will change based on the room conditions, which is really nice. And all the applications are here and they all work. Nothing is corrupted. It's very fast and snappy, of course, because of the SSD. And obviously this is still a good machine in 2019. I don't know why it wouldn't be with an i7 and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So you really don't need the 2019 MacBook Pro. So if you have one of these things, make sure that you check this option out before you throw your MacBook out because with no money at all you can get your machine working again and I just wanted to show you guys that today so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed 
and again make sure you try this on your MacBook Pro if it is having this issue this is a common problem with the 2011 MacBook Pros they almost all of them have done this to the point that Apple recalled or well, they didn't recall but they offered a free repair option for several years for these machines if you are had a graphics issue and this one was just out of that window whenever it failed so my friend got lucky and he got several years out of this machine before it quit on him but it's back up and running and I'm really happy to say because I'll be using this for college alright so I hope you enjoyed uh, make sure you comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye